today I'm going to talk about the RC30 hot seat recovery system. It's got a couple of different applications. One of the applications is to, to suck up your discharge water into recovery tanks so you can either have it evaporated off or hauled off. The second in, in the application we're going to use today is where you're using this machine to help discharge out of a warehouse where your water's flowing over into one direction. So you can use the vacuum system itself and the discharge hose to get it where you need it so it doesn't pull up on your floor. This is a 110 volt machine. It's 15 amps. Everybody thinks it's a vacuum and, and that's true, but it's a little bit more than that. So POTS equipment, they recognized they needed to have something that's not only going to vacuum the water up and you know this isn't going to be enough volume to get your job done but they also have a discharge pump with the automatic float on the inside. You'll notice you got two switches here. You have vacuum on and then you have pump on. With, the, with both these on, when you're vacuuming up your water through the hose here, it's going to discharge out to this hose. So it's going to fill up about 10 or 15 gallons. Once the float kicks on, it's going to pump out through the secondary pump and discharge that hose, or excuse me, discharge that water out. And today I'm going to show you how to do it. So I started off with connecting the RC30 to a 110 volt power source. It is a 30 amp. I'm going to put my discharge hose where I need it. I'm going to take my vacuum hose and I'm going to place the vacuum hose in the area that I see the most pooling. As you can see over here, I've already done some washing. Everything is starting to cool in this area. If I don't evacuate that water, when it dries, this is going to be dirtier than the rest of the floor. And your client, your customer, they're not going to be happy. It's not the desired effect we're looking for. So through the RC-130, excuse me, the RC-30, we're going to walk right through it and kind of give you a little bit of demonstration. So here we go. discharge hose near a drain. I'm going to turn on the vacuum and turn on the pump. Then I'll walk over to the pressure washer. I'll start flooding the area. You'll see where it's going to start picking up and getting rid of the dirty water that I need. So again, this is the Hotsey RC30 recovery system. I will explain a little bit on the discharge and the vacuum. Uh, in this scenario, we were pulling from ponding water inside a warehouse. There are other applications where it's going to be in a portable application and you're recovering the water back to your dirty water tank. Um, I hope this explains a little bit more on what it does and uh, I look forward to uh, more videos with you. Thanks.